Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. So Michigan just defeated Arkansas State uh, 28-18, to I believe. And the game really wasn't that close. Uh, Arkansas State got, what was it, 16 points against the backups or 15 points against the backups. So that's what it is. The real thing about this game was Davis Warren. And like I've been trying to tell people, you know, when it comes to evaluating actual football, I'm good. And I told people, I've been telling this, I've been saying it all week. Davis Warren isn't good enough to start. His mistakes, his mistakes don't, his, the, the good things that he does doesn't overcome, overcompensate for his mistakes. So he threw for what? 11 of 14 one for 122 and three picks and two sacks. And I tried to tell people that uh, that's that's what he's going to give you, about 100 and some yards. and But he's going to throw interceptions, mainly because he doesn't want to get hit. When he, when he sees the pass rush coming, he gets terrified, and he'll just throw it up. Like, and I need people to understand this. You can, yeah, if there's a pass rush and the, the offensive line isn't blocking well, Sometimes the the best play is to take a sack. Yeah, that's part of being a quarterback. I hate to tell you. Yeah, it's not all glamour. Sometimes the best play for the quarterback is to take a sack. So you can punt the ball away and play field position. Davis Warren doesn't want to do that. He doesn't do it. Davis Warren sees the pass rush and he doesn't want to get hit. So, or he just doesn't want to take the sack, he'll throw it up. He, he doesn't care. He'll just throw it up. You can't win like that. And that's why I've been on his head because I noticed it against Texas that he did it. Those are things that you can't be the starting quarterback. If you, when you see a pass rush, you just say, oh, fuck it. And just throw it up. That's what he does. So, you know, you can't you can't be the guy doing that. He probably should have bench, been benched earlier, but Sharon Moore wanted to give him the the benefit of the doubt. You know, the, just want to give, give him the benefit of the doubt. So, other than that, we saw the run game being getting back in a groove. The pass blocking, it was spotty all game. If I have to say, the run blocking right now is better than the pass blocking. So, you want to run the ball as much as you can because the pass blocking, it's just, it's not there all the way yet, you know. But we did finally get to see Orgy get in the game, and, you know, <clears throat> Arkansas State was down at that point, but all they really did was run run the ball for the most part. Run Orgy, run Mullins, run run Ben Hall, you know, and it, they went down the field, got, to, got that touchdown to make it 28. You know, so that was that was good to see. You know, they didn't let him throw too much. What was he? Two for four for 12 yards in a TD. You know, he threw like a nine-yard touchdown. The one of his other drives, I think he only had two drives. But um, his uh, he missed a deep throw. Now, you could say that's partly his fault. You could say it's partly Fred Moore's fault. Jake Butt was saying that... Uh, it looked like Fred Moore didn't come out of his break. When you run a when you run a double move, you wanna you wanna come out of your break at full speed. You don't wanna you you don't really run the wanna run the route full speed at first. You wanna explode through that second that second uh move to get the separation and explode. But he he didn't do that. So you could say you could say it's Orgy didn't throw it well enough. You could say Fred Moore didn't didn't explode out of his break. It looked like it was a little bit of both. You know, ain't no excuses over here. I don't care who's the starter, but you want to hit that throw. But it was good to put it on film that you will actually throw it deep. You know, it was good to see that. Uh, the offense, Khalil Mullins, he's running back one. They need to. They, Donovan Edwards needs to be in the same role as last year. I think they, the staff needs to accept that. Khalil Mullins is running back one, and he showed it today. 
15 carries for 153, two TDs, 10 yards a carry, 38 long. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Donovan Edwards, he had 17 carries for 82 yards, 4.8 yards a carry, uh, one TD, nine yard long. But Mullins just runs harder and tougher than him. You know what I'm saying? He'll break a tackle. He'll hit a dude with a stiff arm or something, and then to get in the open field, and then he's, he's running. You know, he's off to the races. You know, he's not the fastest dude, but, hey, we'll take it right now because Donovan Edwards, he just doesn't run like that. He's just not a – he's just not a – he's not a running back one. It's just time to – time to – it's time to just accept that, that he's not that. He needs to be in the same role he's been in since he's been at Michigan. A backup running back that you can bring in and do different things with, split him out wide, those types of things. Now, I'm not sure what they're going to do next week against USC for the offense. I'm not sure if they're going to – I'm not sure if they're going to – um I'm not sure if they're gonna put Davis Warren back in because I I don't I don't know what this staff will do they they they, they, could, they could do anything yeah like you you don't know so they might they might try to put him back in which I wouldn't suggest going against USC's defense I wouldn't accept I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that but we don't know it it could be Davis Warren Orgy might start Tuttle might start we we really don't know you know. I think we kind of know what Orgy brings to the table. He can throw it. As we saw for the few times, he can throw it. Like, people are trying to act like he just can't throw it. He can throw. We saw he can throw in the spring game, Bonehead. You watched the spring game. We saw he could throw then. So, trying to act like he just can't throw at all. But I'd say he's probably a lim more of a limited thrower, you know. That other pass that he had knocked down, that wasn't his, that's not his fault. The, the rush came up the middle. The guy knocked it down. He made a play on it. He made a play. He knocked it. He, he knocked it down as he was pass rushing. That happens. You know what I'm saying? So the same ex the same way people were trying to give Davis Warren all his chances. The same you have to do for Orgy or Tuttle or whoever whoever else comes in. Give him a chance. You get what I'm saying? Davis Warren had his chance. He had his chances to to show that he's the he's a capable of being the starter. He failed. Now it's time to see what else somebody else can do. That's what, what time it is. And I don't care if it's Orgy or Tuttle or whoever, but you have to. we have to give these other guys a chance to see what they can do. Who's, who's, who's the best one? Who can move the offense the best way? You know, but one last thing on the offense. If Orgy's the starter, you have to design the offense around what he does well. You can't be. You don't run the same offense you ran for for Davis Warren for Alex Orgy. They're two different players. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the thing right there. Hopefully, if Orgy's a starter, you see more plays designed around what he does well and what he brings to the offense. You get what I'm saying? You don't want to have him doing the same things as Davis Warren. He's a different player. He has his strengths are different than Davis Warren's. You know what I'm saying? But one th one thing I will say that I liked when when Alex Orgy had the pass rush, he didn't try to. I'm just gonna throw it. That's you can't do that. He actually tried to. Okay, let me. He manipulated the pocket. Decided to. Okay, let me just take this two yards. Yeah, we didn't get the first down. We didn't get the first down, but we can punt it away, play field position, and give the defense a chance not putting the defense in a horrible position that's part of being a quarterback also so that was good to see but i would have i would have liked to have seen orgy get more reps just to just in case he is the starter for for usc you know get him a little more comfortable but you know they put they had the backups in on defense so they couldn't get off the field uh let's see what else for the defense, for the defense, uh, the defense is still making some mistakes. One thing, the pass rush. The pass rush, Wink just refuses to run twists and stunts. 
He refuses to. A staple of last year, the front four isn't getting there consistently. They're not getting there. I don't even know if Mason Graham, did Mason Graham even play today? I didn't hear his name at all, you know? But you're not getting twists and stunts. I'm not seeing any twists and stunts. Help the help the 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 off the D line out. He he refuses to do that. He either just blitzes or they 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 just rush straight up field. He needs to correct that. That's 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 a big mistake. That's a big mistake, honestly. You want to confuse the the opposition's offensive line. That's how you do it. So that's a big mistake. Barham is lost. He's he, he doesn't understand what we're what what they're trying to do on defense. And I wouldn't say he's the only one, but <clears throat> just watching this, you know, we'll do we'll the film and all that, the breakdowns will come out and we'll get to really see. But Hausman played better. Barham, he's still lost. Like I can see it in his uh I can see it in his mannerisms that he's not confident in what he's doing. It was early in the game and and he blitzed. He's got a free he's got a free he's got a free uh rush at the passer. Like he's blitzing from the right. The the quarterback sees him and goes left. But he goes instead of chasing the quarterback he goes over to the tackle like he's trying to – I'm not sure what he was doing when he did that. Like he's trying to free up somebody else. Bro, their line their line has let you through. Go chase the quarterback. What are you doing? He's lost. He, like he really doesn't understand what we're trying to do. Like so, I hate it for him. I don't know how, why he's so confused that his football instincts – He's so confused right now. His natural instincts aren't taking over. And it's he's just, he's making some mistakes that he's going to be laughed at on film. Because they're going to be like, bro, what are you doing? Like, what are you, you, you can go sack the quarterback or at least maybe get get him. And you done, you you running over here trying to hit the left tackle. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, it's like, it's like the, I think it's on the first third down or the second third down of the game. You know, and third down is also, they're still struggling on third downs. You know, Wink hasn't really figured it out, and that's partly with the twists and the stunts. But he hasn't really figured out what he's trying to do to be successful. Now, they got it under control later in the game, but you're playing Arkansas State. You, you should be able to get off the field consistently early. Like, you know what I'm saying? And other times they had... They had uh, good throws and things, and they just couldn't make the plays. You know what I'm saying? They just didn't have the guys to make the plays. Let's see. What else? Tackling needs to be cleaned up. I saw some, uh, some, some, some nice hits, but it still wasn't – it's still not where you want it to be it's going into Big Ten play. So they got to try to clean that up some more. You know, um, the the other thing is discipline. This is this is huge. Discipline, knowing your assignment. There's still a lot of guys on defense that, j that they don't understand the assignment. Had Quinn Johnson hit a guy well out of bounds, like bro, you been what are you a fifth year senior? Why are you hitting a dude out of bounds when it's obvious he's out of bounds? It's third down. They're like eight yards short of the third down. Why are you hitting this dude out of bounds, bro? Early in the game. Like, why are you making dumb mistakes like that? That's just beating yourself. You know, whether it was holdings, whether it was roughing the passers, uh, offsides, just a bunch of mental errors, like undisciplined. Just a lot of undisciplined mistakes, you know? And... That's on that's on the whole staff. That's on Sharon Moore. Like, you shouldn't have guys making these mistakes. You know, I get the holdings. You know, you're 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 offensive lineman. Holdings come when you get beat. So that uh, don't get beat, but it's understandable. But all the rest of the penalties, it's like, bro, these are a lot of undisciplined penalties. Uh, Jair Hill makes some plays, but to me, I'd start Amir Hall. 
with with our schedule, I wouldn't start Jair Hill. I'd 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 start Amir Hall. Jair Hill would have to come off the bench because he's 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 still really not ready. He's not. You know, Amir Hall when he's out there, he looks the part. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Like he because he's pl- in. He's played a ton of football, but so he probably does know what he's doing more than Jair Hill at this point. You know, I get the I get the um, potential factor of it. Oh, Jair Hill's got a lot of potential. That's great. We're trying to win games, and if I'm Sharon Moore, I'm saying I'm trying to win games. I ain't got time for the pen- potential right now. He needs sit him down, and he'll be ready next year. He should be ready to go for real next year. You get what I'm saying? So I'd sit him down. To me, Amir Hall, he just gives you more, especially in space, tackling in space. When it's, when he, when it's time to come up to, for a tackle, he's there, right there, ready to hit. And when he hits, he, put the, he puts his helmet on the ball. I like that. That's fundamentally sound football. That's somebody that I want on the field now. Because he, why did I get him? Because he's played a ton of snaps for this year. You know, so I'd, I'd have him in the game. Uh, what else? That's about it for the defense. I mean, they're still making mistakes. They, they, they ironed it out a little bit, but also Davis Warren threw three picks and put him in bad position almost every time, uh, both times. Two out of the three times, I believe. You know, so... It's, you know, as a defensive player, you know, you're like, you know your job is to stop the other team, but it's like, bro, come on, like, help help me out, you know? And to go back to, to Warren, he can throw a nice ball when the, the pocket is clean and the guy is kind of wide open. He'll throw a good ball, but that's not football. You're not going to get guys wide open all the time. You're not going to get guys – where, where it's a clean pocket all the time. That's just not football, and that's just not this team this year. You know, so you got to make the most of it and the best of it, you know. Honestly, I wouldn't play him. I wouldn't play him versus USC. I wouldn't play him because you're going to get more of what you saw today, more of what you saw against Texas because it's going to take time for him to iron out the forget it and just throw it. It's going to take time for him to get out of that. Uh, you know, it, it takes time. It takes, it takes time and mentally understanding. I can't. I have to eat this ball. I gotta eat it. Yeah, the pass rush came through. I gotta eat it. It's just what it is. You know, I don't care if you people don't like it. Oh, the offensive line. Yeah, he has to eat it on that play. That's what. That's what comes with being the starter, starting quarterback. Sometimes you have to eat it and punt the ball. We saw it with JJ. You know, J.J. used to try to make something out of nothing all the time when he was a freshman. By the time he was a junior, he realized sometimes the best thing to do is to take the sack and punt the ball. You know, Davis, this team don't have this. This team doesn't have the luxury of him just throwing it up. I mean, J.J. wouldn't just throw it up like that. Not like Davis Warren does it. That's. He does it at a, 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 a an alarming rate. JJ was more of the run around. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna let this play die. Like, I, calm down, you know. But he had to learn. Sometimes the best play for the quarterback is to just take the sack, you know. So that's just what it is. Uh, didn't get to really see a punt return. I'm glad Samaj Morgan is looking better though with the at least catching punts. He looks real comfortable back back there catching them. So that's a plus. I get, you know, you want somebody back there that can catch it. He's he's comfortable back there now. But um we didn't get to see Jordan Marshall. Colston Loveland got hurt. Hopefully he'll be back for next week. We saw Marlon Klein get a couple 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 catches. We saw Amarian Walker get in there uh, a little bit. You know, uh you know you I still didn't see enough eye candy and wrinkles. You know, I saw some, but I'd, l- I'd love to see more more of that. You got to base the offense around bringing that orbit, orbit, orbit motion or over, orbital motion, however you say it. You have to base the offense around that. You really do. 
I, I mean, I know you don't want to, and it, you know, I just hope if Orgy is the starter next week, that they have a good game plan specifically designed for his skill sets. Or if it's Jack Tuttle, spe- specifically designed for his skill sets. Because, like, when Davis Warren was in there, they didn't do any read. I don't think they did any reads with him, you know. So, you, the the offense has to be designed ar- around what these guys do well, you know. I'm not going to get into the USC game right now. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm trying to enjoy the little, the little things. We, you know, we got to win. You know, we set Davis Warren down because he should have been set down. And I'm just trying to go, just enjoy this one for what it is. Honestly, you know, I had people texting me, Marcus texting me, and man, I'm not even as mad as I was because I understood what Davis Warren was early. Once I watch players, it don't take me long. It don't take me long to see what you are. That's just that's just something I'm good at. Once when they're on the field, and it's actual something to, to analyze, I can I can tell what a player is. It don't take me that long. You know what I'm saying? And Davis Warren, I just saw it. I saw it very soon with that Texas, especially in that Texas game. That he he ain't it. He just he's just not it. He can throw the ball. He's he's got a talented arm. But mentally, he's not there all the way. Not not enough to to warrant starting. He's just not there, you know. But um, what else? What else? I think that's a, I think that's about it. You know, the running game looked good. Receivers. What did the receivers do? They couldn't have did that much. I mean, we ain't throw for nothing. Marlon Klein, three receptions, forty three yards. Freak. Fred Moore, three, three, three catches, 38 yards. Loveland, three catches, 30, 30 yards. Uh, Donovan Edwards, one, one catch, 11 yards. You had Hanson with the TD, I believe. And Samaj, two, two catches for three yards. You know, so still not getting enough out of the receivers. I'd like to see, last thing, I'd like to see, you have to, you have to, you have to design routes where some of these routes are just decoys. You know, guys running deep, guys running deep post, and the those are clear out routes. Those are routes to get the safeties, to get those linebackers stretched out, so it gives more room underneath. You have to run those routes. Like I don't understand. Like the fact that they think that they can just run all these short routes and not stretch the field because. Arkansas State had their safeties. I'm talking about eight, nine yards off the ball some of this game. Seven yards. Like, these dudes were in the box. They had all them dudes in the box at at certain points in this game. So you have to have routes that stretch the field. Even if it's a decoy route. Hell, the way some of these safeties, the way Arkansas State was doing, you could run a decoy route and he might be wide open. Because the safeties are just sitting in the box. You know what I'm saying? You have to do this to stretch the field and open up the field for the underneath stuff. It's not a, well, I don't want it. It's, boy, I'm tired of this coaching for dummies y'all are doing. You have to run those routes. You have to call those routes. You have to. It's not a, it's not a choice. It's something you have to do, bonehead. I hate bad coached football. Like my boy Greg Saudi said, shout out to Greg. Some of this stuff is just bad, poorly coached. Like some of this stuff, we just look really poorly coached on, you know, and it just shows up, you know, but to me, this is a, this is a running team. Like we expected, expected to be a running team and we want to run the ball. The pass blocking isn't there. It's still behind the run blocking. Looks like it's, it's, it's getting better. Even even against Texas, it was somewhat there. The pass blocking, it's behind, you know. So every time you call a pass play, you're 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 kind of playing with fire, I want to say, because because they don't teams don't think you can stretch the field like that, so they don't they don't they don't mind blitzing and the offensive line is struggling so much in pass blocking and communication that 
they can blitz and it's not going to get picked up even if you see it's coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, the last thing, in the communication on defense, they, they, they got to get better. from, And that's backups to starters. The communication still has to get better. Like, you have to communicate. Like, this is the some of the first stuff that you, you're taught when you're a DB, when you're on defense, is communication. You got to call that out. You got to call this out. Motion, you got to call out the motions. You got to call out doubles, trips, whatever it is. You have to call all this stuff out and communicate with each other. That's that's defense 101. So, I'm not – it's just it's just a lot of bad coaching mistakes, you know. But they won the game. We got USC coming. I'm gonna do a, a deeper dive on USC so I can, cause you know the bigger games, you know, you need you need a more in depth analysis, you know, of it. Well, at least I want to do one, you know. So, but that's all I got for this one, y'all. Michigan gets the win and a two and one. So, like, share, subscribe, and as always. Go Blue.